everybody, this is Tracy Newcomb at the Rhapsody Art Barn, and I'm here to show you a new piece I got and to show you a little bit about how I'm going to prep it. I got this beautiful French Provincial dresser. Everybody knows these dressers. Um, they're very fancy, ornate looking. The handles are pretty. Uh, the lines are really fun, but the finish is usually horrible on them. Um, whatever they put on them is so thick and slick. Uh, you cannot get it off. The top is laminate. Um, it's just a mess uh, to refinish. It's really hard to do. In fact, I picked this up from somebody who was going to refinish it and then ended up just buying one already refinished because it is kind of a pain to do. And every single drawer goes in on this dresser, but it didn't go in smoothly. So literally we've had to sand down every single drawer. Actually, I had my daughter Haley do that for me. I give her props, but she's not here today. Um, and so now the dressers slide in and out fine, um, but we did have to sand down the corners. I happen to have uh, this surf prep sander and it does make life easy. They're real quiet. And uh, if you hook it up, you can um, have it go directly into a vacuum containment unit. Um, I usually just open the door because I don't have that much sanding to do. Uh, you do not have to sand typically when you're using Dixie Belle paint, um, but if the piece itself has flaws, then of course anything you put over it is going to have flaws. So while the finish will uh, self-level and look beautiful, if you have a huge gouge in your piece or if your piece is super dirty, it, nothing's going to adhere very well. So before I do anything, I remove all the hardware and I wipe it all down with Dixie Bell White Lightning. It is granulated. It comes in a container that you then scoop out the granules into another container and add water. Uh, two tablespoons does a gallon, so it goes a long ways. I have not used one up yet. Um, and this white lightning with a little scrubby pad, any kind, I'm just using a scotch Bright one, um, should be able to get most of the dirt and debris off of it. It will take most finishes down to a dull finish, um, not a heavily lacquered one and I'm not gonna sand this whole thing. So what I am going to do is I'm going to clean the whole thing with my white lightning. Then I go back in and clean it all down again with water. You have to do this to get the residue of the white lightning off so that everything will adhere. And then I am going to be using what we have for slick surfaces called slick stick. And I'm going to be painting all of the edges of this piece. And so I'm going to use the slick stick with that. And then I found a new product that I will be using called uh, Retiquet. It's a liquid wood. And I'm going to be doing the fronts of the drawers with that uh, liquid wood, the Retiquet. And I'm gonna do the top laminate with the Retiquet and that will be then stained so it looks like wood. So painting on the outside, two different colors because there is edging on these drawers and the sides, you can see they're gold around the edge. And that will all be one color. This will be wood. And then the outside of the furniture itself, the piece is going to be, um, this stuff right here is going to be a, a third color. So that is my plan as of now. Plans change, but that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm real excited to try the Retique kit. Um, I may end up carrying it in my store, so I'm excited to see how it works. And um, in the meantime, let's get the piece ready. So after I get the uh, white lightning on, I'm going to be coming back in with the Dixie Belle mud. And that mud is a product that Dixie Bell carries for uh, raised stencils, 
for fixing blemishes on pieces and it's it's a real heavy thick i'll show you it is like mud and i use it with a trowel and i use it on those things that the paint is not going to hide so for instance right here you can see i'm going to put you down a little i'm trying to get keep you close so you can see so there is a piece right here in the furniture that i've sanded already you can see the white around it that I've sanded, but this is a divot. It's not going to get any better than this. So once I clean it, I'm going to take the mud and I'm going to fill that divot in. And I'll go ahead and show you real fast how I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to clean that area with the white lightning. Once I clean this area, It'll be good to, to go. I'm using a little scotch Brite pad, just a cleaner. You can use some fine steel wool. You can use the backside of a sponge, which is essentially what this is. And then I'm gonna come back in with some water. And I'm gonna get a different rag and just wipe it back. So this piece is now ready for the next step. So that little divot there, you can see a little chunk out of the piece. I want to get you to so where you can see it up close enough. We can just literally fill right in with this mud. And do not worry about, the mud comes right off. And once it dries, this mud will um, be sandable. So I don't worry too much about getting it on the edges. And in fact, because I want to make sure that they're filled, I lightly go over it there with the trowel and then make sure that it's, it's more than enough rather than scraping it too far back. I want more than enough product there because this stuff can be sanded very easily. So that covers that little divot and then the divot will not show. And I can just take a light, I could even probably use the, the uh, backside of a, a sanding sponge that Dixie Belle has, really fine grit and just take that back down. So that is as easy as that. We're just fixing these little divots all over this piece. So I'm gonna do a couple more of the cleaning, sanding, mud demos while you're watching. So I'll raise you up and you can look at my piece and not me. And then we'll work on that together for a minute. And then I'll probably wait until I get the retique it to do any more on the piece. So this is just prepping it. And it's not the fun part, but it's really fun to get it done and have it ready to paint. So let's work on that. So I'm just gonna take all these beautiful holes off. You know, you can even use the mud to recreate stuff like the poles or ornate pieces. And I always keep my pieces in a container so I don't lose them in my handy dandy flower pot. And then I look for any edges that are really dented and I sand those down. This drawer isn't too bad. In fact, I think this is probably one of the better ones. So just a little piece here. I wanna make sure it doesn't need mud, but it looks good. So then I just take my white lightning and I spray the piece. Get 
my little sanding pad and you can see all the grime it just comes right off along with the shiny layer finishing layer and I do not have to do these drawer fronts because like I said I'm gonna do a a retic it finish a, a wood look on them with actual stain and so I do not need to do any more with these except for just clean them really well make sure that they're gonna be good to go but I want to make sure my edges are going to be painted so I'm gonna get every surface that's gonna be painted clean with the white lightning and then back with the water and I'll do this all over the piece and then any piece that I see that has a little divot in it I can go ahead and take off with white lightning I'm sorry take off with uh, the sander and then put the mud on it I'm not very good at doing two things at once talking and working at the same time you know gotta work on that doing these videos okay so I want to try to take you guys through every step of my processes so that when you come and get my products you know what to do with them very easily okay so I put a little more white lightning on that so I'm gonna just come back in make sure it's all cleaned up it looks much better even now just cleaned so then I I always mark my drawers because they don't all fit back together here's just a piece of frog tape I put LT on it left top put it in my drawer and that way I know that one goes in that drawer okay so I've got a lot more to do on this and I will not make you watch the whole thing, but you get an idea. I'm gonna do this whole piece. I'm gonna show you, turn you around, show you. It's a big, beautiful dresser. And then at the very end, I'm going to put the uh, Mama's Butter, that's what it's called, uh, Dixie Bell's Mama's Butter into the drawers and underneath, because they are wood. You can see the slide is wood. And when you put that on, it'll smooth the wood and make it so that the drawers slide nicely. And we even have scented butter. We have unscented, but the scents are uh, citrus and orange. Oh, it smells so good. And then a floral. So if you want your drawers to smell good when they come out and to slide easily, and you can even do the inside of the drawers and it actually makes a physical difference in how they look. They're lubricated and smell wonderful. Uh, you can use it on any wood and you can actually use it to bring back some furniture, leather furniture. So that stuff as well, I'll take you over. Might as well show you get a nice big jar of this stuff and there's the oh that's the best thing wax I lied I'll grab a big jar of this one this is the unscented one and that's what that looks like there so just a really nice finish to your piece if you want to make it all smell good and the other furniture you have in your house so I'm going to stop there I'm gonna move on to completing my piece, fixing all the divots, sanding down anything that's not good and cleaning it all up. And it will be ready for slick stick on the painted areas and the retique it on the front and top. So hopefully that will be done soon and I will post it on my Facebook page so you all can see it. Have a great day.